Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a complete decentralized application on the Polygon ZK EVM testnet, which sits on top of uh, Ethereum. Now this application um, will have three different um, functionalities. One, you can connect to your wallet. Here I'm going to click MetaMask. Two, you can submit a donation. Let's submit for the great video they gave us for free. <laughs> and then donation amount, let's do 10 way. No, let's do 11 way. Submit. It will call, allow the user to, ask the user to sign the transaction. And this is loading. Whenever this finishes, uh, finishes loading, this will, this don't, um, transaction will have occurred. See, last time was six way on the Polygon ZKVM. Now it's 11 way, right? So this is, oh, thank you for donating 11 way. Okay. And then the last function is C donation. So this is going to go through the event log uh, and the history and see all the donations over 45 way. So this one is not there because it's under 45 way. So we're going to build this whole decentralized application together and and learn how to deploy to the web well to the polygon zk evm testnet now it's going to have five parts this first part we're going to go over the contract itself i'm going to explain the contract to you the second part we're going to build um, the back end of this uh, decentralized application in the third part we're going to write tests for this decentralized application in the fourth part, we will write the front end. So this is what you're going to, or, or build the front end project so we can actually create this app. And in the last part, we are going to uh, deploy this app to the web. Uh, so you can actually, this is on my computer, where you're going to have a real link that you can share with friends and family members or whoever that can interact with the app. You can actually create this app for yourself. If you are providing free content, if you're providing uh, a public good uh, that doesn't cost anything and you're open to receiving donations, uh, this is a pretty good start. You still have to make sure there's uh, iron the final details, but this is a pretty good start for you to deploy to the Polygon ZK VM uh, mainnet um, and then people could donate to your um, to your efforts, right? And for what you do. All right. So what I recommend is I'm going to put this link under the video. This is the uh, DAP donation to educator. Uh, we'll go over the readme in the second part of this tutorial and we'll build all of this together. Uh, but if you want to get a head start, just uh, download this. Uh, don't forget that I'm going to do, you know, five parts. So, uh, I would highly recommend you subscribe to this channel, turn on the notifications or alert button, and uh, you'll be notified whenever I create the second, third, fourth, and fifth part of the video. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's go into our contract right here. Now, you, I'll, I'll put this link under the video. Well, the link is right here. I'll put the contract under the video, but it's in back end contracts, and it's right here. So let's see, I just copy everything into uh, Remix. Now Remix is a great um, platform to do contracts. If you don't know how to activate Remix, it's very easy. Just go to uh, remix.ethereum.org, go and do your filing system. I went into contracts and I created donation.soul and, and that's it. And then I copy pasted it here. All right, so let's go over the contract. What are we seeing here? This is obviously Solidity. So first, we have to declare or define the Solidity version. We're going to use 0.8.18 or higher. This is what the caret sign means. Um, here I have some more information about events. We have an event here. But if you want to read more about it, um, this is a pretty good link. Now, the contract is going to be called Donation Contract. But you can call it whatever you want. If you're going to follow along, don't change anything because it's hard to, to remember later on what other things you have to change as well. Keep it the way it is, and when you feel comfortable with it, then you can go ahead and change uh, when you do it the second time. So the address, we're going to declare, sorry, we're going to declare one uh, state variable, 
that's going to live on the blockchain and it's called online educator and this variable is going to be public uh, payable and it's going to be an address so this is going to be an address now we're going to declare an event or define the event which later we're going to emit when this function is executed so this event will have four different variables the fourth variable is just a timestamp that we'll take from the blockchain the third variable is just the address of the person donating the second variable is just a string and we'll call this reason because this is the reason that they donate just going to be a string a text and then uh, you int 256 it's a very big integer number um, and from 0 to well, infinity just very very big and it's going to be called amount now you see here indexed each event in solidity can take up to I think three or four index variables I think three uh, an index allows you to filter variables or filter events based on certain variables so in the future we can actually this is how we we actually do this with the filtering over 45 way this is the amount because uh, amount is, is an index variable so we can later on we can go through the historic events or logs and we can filter all the events by this this variable we cannot filter by reason or by address because this one is indexed only all right then we have the constructor and the constructor is is only triggered once whenever the contract is created and then in the constructor which is going to be payable because we're going to send and receive money we're going to say that the person sending this message which is going to be the person triggering the constructor which is the person deploying the contract to the web we'll see this later this is payable and this 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 person is going to be assigned to an online educator right so the online educator is the person that actually creates the contract um, creates this contract all right so we define our online educator as soon as the contract is created and then we're going to have an offer donation function and this is going to take uh, call date um, sorry it's going to take a donation uh, reason variable and this is going to be a string with call data um, storage type which is usually it takes very very little gas it's going to be a payable function we're going to emit this log data this this, this event right with the message value will be the amount the donation reason will be the reason message sender will be the address of the sender and the block timestamp will be the timestamp and then we'll say the message value that the donator decided will be transferred to the online educator so now the online educator will receive whatever value they chose here to to donate now let's see this is a front end this we built with JavaScript let's see how we we execute these functions on remix so we'll go here we're going to compile it compile donation that's all and then we're going to deploy it so let's deploy this contract with uh, just uh, fake uh, wallets Shanghai and we're gonna have we have about 10 different wallets here or addresses we're going to deploy with this wallet address and donation deploy so now we have a contract and we have this blue button that's an uh, online educator every state variable in um, the solidity contract on the blockchain always has like a getter function where you can you can call it and see what it's equal to in this case remember it's an address in this case it's equal to 05b3 which is a person that deploy the contract this address right here right because of this we said whoever deploys the contract is going to be the online educator so that's one function and the other function which is red is offer donation and this offer donation takes one input which is a string so we're going to say string donation we're going to say um, donating to Adam for his um, services right all right and we have to also put whenever you donate you have to put a value so we'll put I'm sorry where value here how much you want to donate so let's donate I don't know uh, 12 way and then we will click on offer donation 
And if you see here, if you go in here, you'll see, uh, it's hard to see so small, uh, it bigger. The true transaction, okay, transaction hash from this wallet. Well, actually, I should have donated from a different wallet. Let's donate from a fake second wallet. So I don't donate to myself. Donating to Anna for his services. Well, let's say donating to Jim for his services. And the value will be two-way. Donate. And now we'll see that we have from this wallet, the second address. Uh, this is the amount of gas it took for the transaction. This is donation reason. And how much did we donate? Two, two-way, this says right here. Right, so we're gonna have to do all this in part number four, on on the front end with with JavaScript. It's kind of cool. We'll see how how we do that. All right, so that's it. That is uh, the contract, and uh, that is how you build it with Solidity. Uh, don't forget to stick around for part two. Um, subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notifications so you can get notified when I do um, create and publish part two, which will be in just a couple of days. If you have any questions, please in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Bye. -bye.